Hello. My name is Yun Huang. I came to United States 1985 from the Chinese Academy of Science. Today I'm going to teach you six word Qi Gong. I learned from uh, when I was in China in the Chinese Academy of Science in 1982. And uh, also I practice this Qi Gong since then until today. I fully benefited from this practice. Today I'm making this video because this is the virus time. There are so many people get a coronavirus infected, got sick or dead. In all the medical history, no virus can kill all people even in the same city, town, village, or home. In the same environment, some people get sick, some people not. It is all depends on the very important factor for the people who have the ability to resist disease. As I know, a lot of people got it recovered from a coronavirus infection by practicing this six word qi gong daily in Wuhan, China. Six word qi gong was in, created in Tang Dynasty in China. It has been inherited to today. It has 1400 years history. It also has long history and record to cure diseases of millions of, millions of cases. It either strengthens your body, the ability to resist disease, or prevent from this. The basic idea is by pronunciation, the structure of your mouth corresponding to the organs can transport qi, blood, or oxygen to the corresponding, corresponding organs to either strengthen the ability to resist disease or prevent from that. It can stimulate making adjustment of the qi, blood, and organs to the corresponding to the organ to strengthen the ability to resist or prevent the disease. And also, it is very easy to learn and have no negative effect to human health. So the sixth word, the corresponding to the, the different organs are tree, roughly, who, roughly, she, roughly, he, roughly, she, roughly, si, roughly. I will explain the detail how to pronounce these six words correctly during your inhale and exhale air. So the tree is corresponding to kidney. The who corresponding to spleen. The she corresponding to san yin. The san yin is composed of three parts. The upper part of san yin is the head, chest, arms. The middle part of the san yin is the stomach, liver, go bladder. The lower part of san yin is the intestine, kidney, and the spleen. And the first word is uh, her, that corresponding to heart. The fifth part, the fifth word is uh, she, 
that uh, correspond to labor. The last word is a si correspond to long. So you have to pronounce this uh, sixth word during your inhale or exhale air. So when you do the pronoun pronounce, you need to do it uh, slowly and uh, smoothly and uh, softly. Like uh, the stream flow down through the river or the breeze flow lightly. I will explain it now. Okay. So when you do the tree, should be So when you do the who should be So when you do the she like So when you do the her, so when you do the she, So when you do the si, okay. Now let me to explain how to do the inhale during your pronunciation. So this is the chart, inhale, this is the exhale. So we do the breath during your inhale and exhale, exhale, we call this the reverse breath. What does the reverse breath mean? So normally when you inhale air, the air come in, so your stomach should be become bigger. But in this situation, it's the opposite. It becomes smaller by extract, by shrink, by tighten up. At the same time, you lift your anus. So we can see this chart from here, inhale here. So the air come in, so your stomach here and uh, become extracted, become smaller. So at the same time, your anus extract or lift it. So when you do the exhale air, so the air come out. So you expand your stomach, so your stomach be, become bigger, larger. At the same time, your anus relax. So we call this the reverse breath. So like uh, the reason behind this reverse breath because in the traditional Chinese medical history, medicine, we think the situation your body is good or not, it's uh, very important it depends on the situation your body before your birth, like during you were in your your mother's body. So by 
practice, practice this Qigong, you improve the situation of your body before your birth. Let's see. So when your mother inhales air, so your mother's stomach becomes bigger because she inhales the air. Because your body is inside your mother's body, so when your mother's stomach becomes bigger, you become smaller as the opposite. So in this way, when you do the reverse breath, so you improve your situation before your birth. The same thing here. So when your mother do the inhale air, so your mother's stomach becomes smaller, but your stomach becomes bigger. So by extend your stomach during your inhale air, so you improve the situation before your birth. So that's the basic idea of this six word qigong and how it can prove your ability to resist disease, become stronger. So it's a, it's a historically improved for a long time. So I hope you can watch this video again and again and uh, try to practice every day, even like 15 to 20 minutes every day, it can improve your health very much. No matter you got infected from virus or you have some other disease, I guarantee it, you will benefit from it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.